Hi, welcome back to my channel. So, I'm coming back to YouTube. I'm going on my hen in two days, so this is going to be a pack with me. Okay, this is what we're currently working with. I've got my airport outfit here, my hand luggage, I've sorted my toiletries but not makeup. I've sorted my accessories, but I need to go through the case, decide what I'm taking. I'll just show you everything kind of all basically. Okay, you definitely can't see, but this is the inside. This is what it looks like at the moment. I've just shoved so much in, so I'm going to show you what I'm taking. This is the current shoe situation. Okay, let's get started packing for my hair. So these are coming to the airport, I'm just going to show you because they're here. We've got cowgirl hats. I did get these from AliExpress and my one from Amazon. It isn't the best quality, but it's probably not going to make it home with me, let's be real. So, got that, and then these are the girls' ones. There's nine of us, but I have too many of them, but it's fine. Because um, one of the nights we have a theme, which is Barbie cowgirls. So we're all going to, well, the girls are all going to be in pink. I'm going to be in white. It's going to be the best thing ever. So this is the hand luggage I'm taking on my hen. So I'm going to talk you through everything in there. So first off, I have put this claw clip just on here so it's easy access if I want to put my hair up. Right, and let's start. I have got my portable light. This is blinding in weight. The rain has got very loud, so I hope you can still hear me all right. Um, I've got a pair of Sunnies, these are new Primark ones, I'm not too sure but they're cute from the side so they're coming with. Bringing my AirPods, I've got this little toiletry bag which I'll have to move to a clear one but love this, this is from Team Hen. So I'll show you what I've put in here. I've got a mini Evian facial spray, a toothbrush, some makeup wipes, deodorant, how cute is this, a little bride clip, this reminds me of the Amy J. New York ones, but this was Primark. A little charity pot hand and body lotion, this is from Lush. Lip balm, which is Lano Lips, love this. A little hand sanitizer, which says Bride Tribe, which my, one of my best friends bought to me when I first got engaged, literally four years ago, and I have never opened it, still got the, the packaging on. And a little handheld mirror. My passport, and I've got this in this cute passport holder with a little palm tree at the bottom, so I love that. Got this cute little Mrs. pouch with a little ring on it, which is so cute. This has got my travel money in. Got some little bride socks. Oh, they have bride written on them, just in case my feet get cold on the plane. You know how planes can be. And then some love hearts. And last but not least, I'm giving these out at the airport. These are amazing. This is what one of my friends made for me. They're little hen weekend itineraries. At the front, it just says, Helena's hen weekend. Let's celebrate our girls' last wild weekend, because my surname is Wilds losing that surname so it's got a picture of me a picture of palm trees I actually took that when I went on holiday one year and then just the cute vibes and the dates were going away to Marbella this one escaped out of my bride purse this is the fully to skin food I'm obsessed with this at the moment so it's going in here and that is everything that's going in my hand luggage this is the case that I'm bringing can you see her God, she's big. She is large. Um, I got this luggage tag. Oh, I'm gonna have to turn it slightly. It's so cute. It says, are we there yet? Which just has my name and number. Why was I gonna show you that? I do not want to give out my number. Ooh, look, look how like, good. This is a trip case. Oh, down. Oh, I hope you can see all of this. I might just check if you can see. I'm gonna see down here because I can't figure out how to point the camera down but I can hold things up so I'm going to do this in a random order so I bought these from Team Hen so I've got 10 of the ones that say Brides Babes and my one says Wife of the Party love it show you the shoes I've got I need to cut these down a bit but these have definitely come in my white cowgirl boots from Princess Polly these are for the cowgirl night obviously so I'll show you that full look when I find it, I don't know where I put that. So they're definitely going in. So we'll put them on that side. Hmm, oh, I love these. My, one of my bridesmaids bought me these. They're like pearl sl um, slippers, flip flops from Primark. So they're coming. Do I need to bring two pairs of flip flops? Maybe I'll just bring one. But my other one was these really cute cherry flip flops. I kind of want to bring these. They weigh like nothing. They're both coming. So that's already three shoes. Um, we are going to a beach club and these are the shoes I'm wearing for that outfit. That is probably my best outfit, I can't wait to show you, but we're doing shoes first, so I'm not going to skip ahead. So they're going in. That needs to come out. 
Um, these two shoes, right, are extremely similar. So I'm thinking I might keep one pair for my UK hen. Yeah, I'm having two because I want one with my family, one with my friends. But anyway, these Simi, I love these. You can see them a bit closer there. Bows with a little diamond strap. Or we've got the Primark versions of the, what are they called? Mac and Macs. Mac and Mac? I think that's how you say it. Mac and Mac. So that's a tough decision. It's going to be too late by the time I posted this to get an opinion. I'm going to have to send that to my friends. Oh, I don't know. I've got a bag that matches these, but I love these. I think I might save these for my UK hen. I'm going to put these in the hat and these are going to the side. Okay, now we're on, they're all flat shoes now. So that's good. Oh, to be fair, there's only two pairs of heels. I'm going to bring them. I'm going to bring them. I'm going in. Um, I got these from Victoria's Secret. These are actually slippers, but you can wear them, well, you, I'm going to wear them, out as sliders. I might not bring these. I don't think these need to come. No, these aren't coming. They're not coming. And then the two sandals I'm going to wear are these ones. I bought these in Westfield the other day. Actually, my nan bought these for me. She treated me. And then my mum treated me to these. I'm literally so spoiled. But these are really nice sandals, which are going to come with me. The last pair I won't bring was just these clear sliders because I'm wearing my white Palm Angel sliders to the airport. So I don't need to bring that many pairs of shoes. Progress. Loads of new underwear, but I'm not going to show you that because that's a little bit weird. That's just going to go in the case. I'll show you handbags. Another peek at my beach club outfit. This is the bag. This is a shell bag. This is from... I think it's from Amazon. It's not very good quality. It's like... But it's literally just for the beach club, so... She is definitely coming. I am going to pack this neater, but I don't want to waste this all the time and have it like an hour long video. This is the bag that matches the shoes so you see the vibe like this is so bridal and cute so this bag's definitely coming i love this this is a cute little shoulder bag this was in the sale in zara this is 11.99 at the moment which is really good it does have a longer strap but i'm not keen so i took that out and then i may not need to bring this one although i do like having a new bag for every outfit not new but like a different bag for every outfit although i just realized every bag i have bought is new which is quite bad little handheld, handheld, don't know why I talk like that, just a little handbag. And then I got this in a charity shop, how much did I pay for this? I paid £2 and it's just a little tote that says the bride, so I thought I could take that as a little beachy bag, that kind of vibe. I'm bringing two caps, they're both white, I didn't really put it very well but I really like this one, this is also from Team Hen, this was really affordable and this is mainly just for like a photo in a bikini or something, I know it shouldn't all be about photos but me and my friends are taking photos. My next one is this champion cap. I'm going to bring this to the airport. I just kind of want to get, I just, I can't talk. Just because I don't want it to get really crushed. But my new surname is going to be champion. So I'm going to be having the champion. So naturally anything with champion on it now, I'm like, I want to keep moving the camera. But anyway, on to swimwear. So I'm bringing my cute cherry towel. I got this from Asda. It was really affordable. And I just think that's a perfect little beach towel. So that's going in the case. I just think this is cutting off the top of my head. Um, swimwear is probably the most exciting. Well, no, the outfits are the most exciting, but I got some really nice swimwear. So, I see if I've got a picture of it. So I really wanted this swimsuit. I hope you can see that. I had it on my vision board. It was like, I think it was £200 from Selfridges, but it was out of stock. And I also thought, I don't think I can justify £200 for a swimsuit I'm only going to wear on my hen do and maybe my honeymoon, but I probably even wouldn't. Um, but I know it's bad that companies copy each other, but this was on Boohoo for £10. And let me try and compare. Yeah, I hope you can see. They're literally the same. So I'm very happy with that. Another swimsuit is this. I only really bought this one because I wanted to get free delivery and then I actually just didn't want to return it. So I kept it. I never return things. It's really bad. This just says wifey to be. And I've also got a cute, like, beach shirt, which I can wear over the top. So I'm going to wear that over the top of this. That would be a really nice pink vibe. So let's give that a pack. This isn't how I'm packing. I just want to get this video quick fire. Next, let me show you my beach club outfit. Oh, my God. I'm, I'm hoping... This is going to go up after my hen, so I'm going to put a picture on screen of the full look together. But I'm wearing... So we'll start from the bottom. 
So I'm wearing them pearl heels I showed you. This white bikini, these white bikini bottoms. Um, this is the bikini top. Where's it gone? I literally just saw it. So this is the bikini top. It's one of them ones. I'm not going to put this on right. But it goes like, you know, like that. Obviously covering the boobs. Um, but it's really nice. I've got loads of tape to like hold it in. And then over the top, I've got this gorgeous cover up look how actual stunning that is like i am in love and it looks so nice on it's so bridal it's exactly what i wanted to wear but it is a little bit short because it's not as long as i wanted it to be so i did buy this this is from a different shop i can't remember where i got that um so this is just a tie around my waist at the bottom just so when i'm walking it doesn't like look weird so i've got that and then wearing that with the shell bag and then i've got a bow veil for my hair which is going to be so nice and then boohoo i got this really nice cover up you wouldn't think i'm going for literally thursday to sunday i've got so much stuff i do need to whittle some of this down but i don't know i can so this is like a beach cover up skirt with a little um i think they call it a corsage detail or like a ro rosette um so that is really nice and then this is the matching top i think this is going to look so nice like if we do go down to the beach or just go around the pool just get some nice photos you know just feel nice going on your hair and you want to feel nice you want to wear white and that is that bikini top which my mum found from an online boutique called oh, what does it say but i didn't like the bottoms this is the top and then i just got some white bottoms to wear and then i'll wear it with this white sarong so that's another little beachy pool outfit i think i'm going to bring this because i think i've got enough swimwear but these are like the most flattering bikini bottoms. I have them in orange as well, but they don't do any other colours. These are from my poly. If they ever bring these back, or if anyone's watching from my poly, I will do anything to get bikini bottoms like this in another size. Because they, they hide the bottom of your stomach, which is like my not so flat area, shall we say. Um, and it just looks so flattering. They go high up on the waist. It looks really nice. And I'm going to wear that with this halter neck bikini top i might actually not bring this and just save it for a different a different holiday i can't even talk a different holiday it's like a flower detail and that came with a matching sarong but it is nice and if i want to break from wearing white because it's a lot of white okay so these are my main two outfits so for the barbie cowgirl night where i'm wearing all white i'm wearing this like kind of um bustier top is that what it's called and then this zara skirt, which is so flattering it's got a big bow on it but yeah, it's actually shorts, so I'm wearing that together with my cowgirl boots and my cowgirl hat, so that's really fun. And I have actually got these, which is probably just going to be for a photo because they'll be a bit hot. These gloves with, um, they're like silky gloves with a bow, these are from Primark, these are £3. I was going to get some from the bar, but they were like £100, but I was going to justify it somehow, but this is much better. First night, um, I don't know if I said we're going to Marbella, we're going to a really nice restaurant called Breathe. Um, and I'm so excited to wear this. This is an Opoly, it's very heavy. An Opoly pearl detail dress, hope you can see that. Um, it's halter neck, it's low, and I've got a low back. It's really flattering, it's really comfy. Everything else is a bit like random, and I'm like, I don't really know what I'm doing with it, so let's just have a look. Kind of a backup dress, maybe to wear to the market or something. It's like a oh, short little, <laughs> can you hear me like, ugh lifted it up and this was in the zara sale for 22 pounds really happy with that so i'm thinking that is a nice little daytime look i've got some white beach trousers if we did just want to pop out to the shops and i'm in a bikini just a bit of cover up that kind of vibe oh this is a really nice dress this is a nice daytime dress this is from boohoo it's got a big rosette detail at the top you tie that in a bow around your neck and it's just like a halter neck dress. I really like this. So this is definitely going in. Now, this, I don't know if I should just sell this. I got this from Victoria's Secret probably five years, no more than five, probably six or seven years ago. But it, it actually is quite bridal. It's like got a diamond neck here, but it's see-through. Maybe it'll look nice over a bikini. I might have to try that on just for like peace of mind. Zara bodysuit, which has a frill um, shoulder detail. That's really nice. Oh, I could actually wear that as a day outfit with these toweling shorts. So yeah, that's definitely going in. But this halter neck, I love a halter neck, I don't know if you can tell. Little Zara throw on dress for over a bikini, just like glittery. I think that's really nice, it would look nice with the glittery Zara bag. Now we're on to pyjamas. So I got this really nice bridal set from Primark. So it just says bride on the back. I don't know if you can tell because this lighting is really bad in my flat, it's very bright. Um, 
So that's them. And then the little frilly shorts. I think these are so cute. These, are, these look a little bit big, but I think they'll be alright. So they're for one night. And then all the other girls have got matching pyjamas, which I'm excited to see, because I don't know what they look like. And then I wanted another pair, but I thought, I don't want to buy so much stuff with Bride, like, all over it, you know, because I'm not going to wear it after my wedding, obviously. Or some of it I will, but you know what I mean. So I got this. This is driving me mad. I got these little... What do they call this? Bro embroid not embroidered. Broidery? Bro I, I don't know. You know what I mean. And then the matching shorts are really cute. Oh, these don't actually match. Oh, I've bought the wrong shorts. I literally was looking at these shorts thinking they're nice but they're not the same. Oh, that's so annoying. You can tell they're slightly different colours and um, shades of white. But they'll do. They'll do. Whatever. It's going in place. And then this I actually found the other day where my mum bought me this when I first got engaged years ago, I got engaged in 2019 now, but then Covid and everything, so didn't plan my wedding. Um, it just says bride, some nice robes, thinking this will be really cute just to wear when I'm getting ready, that kind of vibe, so we'll pack that. Hanover kit, so this I think is so important, so let me talk you through what I've put in here. I've tried to condense it down to things I will literally just use, so let's go. These are my favourite thing for a hangover. Let me stop rustling around. Whenever I get hungover, I get a banging headache. My head is pounding, so these are so good. These are the Cool and Soothe head strips. I'm sure one of the other girls is going to want these, so I've packed a few. My mum insisted I bring stuff along, because apparently it's good for burns, injuries. She said oh, I might need it, so that's not really hangover, that's more just in case. I've got these high strength vitamin C capsule thingies. Um, well, not capsules, what do they call them? They like to disintegrate. Tablet, is it a tablet? I think, so I'm gonna put these in water in the morning, down it, and it should help. So there's 20 tablets in here, there's nine girls, so we should be all right, we should get them down. Um, just some waterproof plasters, because I'll probably fall over when I'm drunk, let's be real, so they're going in. And then we've just got classic ibuprofen and an extra, another ibuprofen. So I think we should be good on the hangover front. Next we're going to accessories. This is actually really exciting and I love the stuff I've got in here. So let's get it all out and I'll chat you through. So we'll do some hair things first. I've got this nice pearl Alice band just to, that looks horrendous. Why would I do that? It won't look like that when I wear it. <laughs> I've got this bow scrunchie, which just look cute on like the back of a ponytail. I don't know why I keep having to demonstrate everything. I shouldn't have to do that. Um, just a plain white satin scrunchie. I love a bow, if you can't tell. A um, crystal bow. Crystallised. I feel like I'm really tired. <laughs> I can't think. A bow with little diamonds on. This is like a nudie colour, so I really like that. Just a flower clip, because these are really good. If you have your hair in a pony and you want it in a bun when you get in the pool, twist your hair around, shove that in, you're good. This other claw clip, which would be nice for your hair, half up, half down, looks like a little shell. Or a croissant, actually. Hair clips, I've got this nice bride hair slide. I got this in Home Bargains, which was really good. A Barbie one for the Barbie night. And then just a little, I think this is starfish, with little pearls on. Speaking of starfish, I've got these really cute starfish earrings. I got these from the Zara sale and I can't wait to wear them, they're so nice. And these are adorable, look at these. They say, I do, and they're little cowboy boots. Can you cope? Because I can't cope with that. And then I've got a disposable camera, which isn't an accessory, but it's going in. And then these little cards I bought from Team Hen, which are just really cute. It just says, a little advice for the bride-to-be. And it says, always, never, sometimes, remember, and lots of love. So I'm excited for the girls to fill them in. And then I've got another little pouch of jewellery, which I will get out now and try to lose anything. Gorgeous pearl necklace. I think this is from Missouri. Has it got it written on there? No, it doesn't. I think it's from Missouri, but I love that. I'm so excited to wear that. And then I have got, my mum actually gave me this to wear. I think it's very hen vibes. How do I wear it? So it's like a long diamondy vibe necklace. So that's going to get worn. I've got some gold starfish earrings. These are really cute as well. I don't know where the starfish obsessions come from, but it's new. It's new to me. 
Um, I've got a little diamondy, diamond, this one's Roski, um, a little tennis bracelet. I've got these cute little hoops, which are from Primark, which I'm actually going to wear like mix and match, I think. It's like one green, one pink. I think these are really, really cute. God, I'm bringing so much stuff. Like, do I need all this stuff? I really don't know. And that is all the accessories I'm bringing. So, all fits in one bag. Hair and accessories, jewellery, so that is good. And then, toiletry bag. There is a lot in here. We've got a lot to unpack. But we can do this. We can go through it together. Let's get it all out. This is chaos. Okay, so I'm bringing two sheet masks. This is the Prep and Perfect Illuminating priming sheet mask that'll be good before the big night out on the friday night i've got a just a sephora coconut sheet masks sephora sheet masks are my favorite they stay on my face really well they don't dry out too easily but they're not too wet which is really nice so they're going in and these primark depuffing under eye patches which are definitely going to be needed that's going to be an essential i've got the bondi sands fragrance free water resistant spf 30 sun lotion and I'm bringing this little Hawaiian Tropic SPF 15 tanning oil because I do want to get a tan, I'm only there for a few days so we can have a little bit of both. I keep realising how bad my posture is. I've got a Garnier Soothing After Sun which also has a bit of gradual tan in so that'll be very helpful to get a little tan. Razor just to shave my legs and then hair wise I've got the LV Dream Length Shampoo and Conditioner, I've used this a few times and then the John Frieda Purple Shampoo and the Lightweight Conditioner. It will leave in Sunshine Protect Conditioner so my hair shouldn't go really dry. Get Sanex Shao Gel, Garnier Micellar Water, um, a Sol Janeiro Cream, this is the pink one, this smells amazing. Yeah, it smells like sweets but also coconut at the same time, it's so good. How cute are these? These little Charlotte Tilbury minis. So I've got a mini magic cream and a mini magic serum. So that's perfect size. I'm also going to bring this, which is, um, it's got the magic night cream, the cream and the eye cream. So that'll be handy. Got toothpaste and another shower gel. This is the Dove one, which is cute. Oh my God, this is so cute. I need to stop saying I think it's cute, but when things are small, I just love it. So this is the CeraVe SA Smoothing Cleanser. This is the cleanser I actually use. They're little hair bands and then some normal hair bands. I know these are black and I've got blonde hair, but I've got thick hair and these ones are the best kind of hair band for my hair. Keeps it in place, doesn't smack, smack, doesn't break the hair band. Got a got to be glued hairspray. A little nook, I don't know if it's nooks or nooks, a little um, body oil which has got tan in it which is really nice. It's like an illuminating, you can kind of see the colour. Got a Sephora coconut body mist, love the look of this, smells amazing. And then a mini Paco Rabanne Fame Perfect Ears toiletries. Can't forget cotton pads. Yeah, I hope I'm not forgetting anything. Thank you so much for helping me pack and just watching this video i'm really excited to come back to youtube i've got lots going on i've obviously got my hair which i'm going to try and film some of but i've said that before and then i haven't filmed so we'll see um i've got my wedding i've got a lot of prep so yeah i've got lots of content i can film so thank you so much for watching and if you're going on your hair let me know comment down below and thank you so much